We start off, though, with the Democrats on the legal warpath and reaction from Republicans on that. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts traveling with the president in West Palm Beach, Florida. Good evening, John. Brad, good evening to you. The Trump campaign is dismissing the Democratic lawsuit as nothing more than a political fundraising ploy. But the Democrats, using mostly news reports for evidence, claim there is a conspiracy by the Trump campaign to throw the election. The Democratic Party not waiting for the outcome of the Mueller investigation. Today filing a lawsuit claiming the Trump campaign, Russia and WikiLeaks conspired to hack DNC servers and email accounts and throw the election. The DNC is seeking millions in damages. In a statement, DNC Chairman Tom Perez saying Russia launched an all-out assault on our democracy and it found a willing and active partner in Donald Trump's campaign. The lawsuit does not name President Trump, but does target his son, Don Jr., Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, and Rick Gates, former Trump advisor George Papadopoulos, Joseph Misfoot, who told Papadopoulos the Russians had thousands of Hillary Clinton emails, and Aras and Eamon Agalarov, who helped President Trump stage the Miss Universe pageant in Moscow in 2013. The White House stayed silent on the suit, but the Trump campaign unloaded with both barrels. In a statement, campaign manager Brad Parscale saying this is a sham lawsuit about a bogus Russian collusion claim filed by a desperate, dysfunctional and nearly insolvent Democratic Party. There is a great deal the American public wants to know about the corruption of the Democrats. President Trump stayed out of sight today, spending the day at his West Palm Beach golf club. But on Twitter this morning, he took aim at the just-released Comey memos, tweeting, James Comey memos just out and show clearly that there was no collusion and no obstruction. Also, he leaked classified information. Wow, will the witch hunt continue? The full Comey memo suggests no evidence of collusion, but do paint a more detailed picture of the Comey-Trump relationship than was revealed in either Comey's testimony last year or his new book. For example, President Trump's expectation of loyalty was in the context of FBI leaks. Comey writing, I predicted he, like all presidents, would discover the entire government leaks like crazy. He replied that he needed loyalty and expected loyalty. Comey also wrote, I explained that he could count on me to always tell him the truth. I said, I don't do sneaky things. I don't leak. I don't do weasel moves. The DOJ's inspector general is now probing whether Comey leaked classified information when he gave his memos to a friend, a professor at Columbia University. And assurances Comey gave the president have since been contradicted by events. I then explained what FBI people were like, Comey writes, that whatever their personal views, they strip them when they step into their bureau roles and actually hold political people in slight contempt without regard to party. At one point, the president seems to suggest there could be collusion. Comey writing, he said that if there was some satellite, no, I took this to mean some associate of his or his campaign that did something, it would be good to find that out, but that he hadn't done anything and hoped I would find a way to get out that we weren't investigating him. The memos also reveal that while President Trump asked Comey if he could let the Michael Flynn matter go, he also had serious reservations about Flynn. After Flynn neglected to mention for six days that Vladimir Putin had called to congratulate the president on his inauguration. Comey writes, in telling the story, the president pointed fingers at his head and said, the guy has serious judgment issues. And a development today in Los Angeles in the Stormy Daniels case, a judge there gave Michael Cohen until Wednesday to explain why the Stormy Daniels civil case should be delayed. Cohen is seeking a postponement of the Daniels civil case while the criminal investigation into his business dealings goes forward in New York. Brett? John Roberts traveling with the president. John, thank you.